A single rotten apple has plunged the whole of Korea into a zombie crisis. Sukwu found a moldy, rotten apple while cleaning his house. He casually threw the rotten apple into a trash can on the side of the road. After a few hours of fermentation, the rotten apple mutated and created a mysterious virus. The sanitation worker took the bucket of garbage away to the garbage station. After various sorting processes, the garbage station eventually turned the poison apples into delicious cattle feed. Soon, the cattle feed was sent to a farm. The cows ate the poisonous feed and mutated into crazy zombie cows. To reduce losses, the owner did not handle the crazy cows reasonably but killed them all, stamped them with animal quarantine, and sent them to various barbecue restaurants in the city. The apple-throwing Sukwu also happens to be dating Min Seo at a barbecue restaurant. He never thought the rotten apples he threw would turn into poisoned beef and enter his mouth again. They ate some pieces of beef with great pleasure. The boss even brought a plate of fresh raw beef liver to show off in front of Min Seo. Sukwu just picked up a piece and put it in his mouth. That's right. That's the taste. But after taking a few bites, he realized that something was wrong. There was a piece of apple skin in the liver, but he didn't care about it and finished the rest of the beef. After eating and drinking, they went to the park for another date. Min Seo was very happy with Suk Woo. They confirmed their relationship after only knowing each other for a few days. But when Suk Woo was about to kiss him, Min Seo noticed a weird black vein on his face. This is a precursor to turning into a zombie. Min Seo was just about to take a closer look at Suk Woo when a water bottle hit him in the head. He turned around and saw that it was two high school students. One of the skinny guys made a provocative gesture on purpose because he was not used to seeing them in love here. In front of his girlfriend. How can he tolerate? So he up to teach them a lesson. When he got in front of him, he was blocked by a man who looked like Ma Dong Suk and slammed him into a pillar. The skinny guy came over and kicked him, and Suk Woo spit out the beef he had just eaten. Min Seo saw this and called the police but did not know that Suk Woo had already started to mutate. With the addition of the virus, they were instantly knocked to the ground. Min Seo saw this scene and turned around and ran in fear. Suk Woo was furious. He was about to get rid of his single for 40 years, but they both ruined it. He was so angry that he spit on the skinny guy's face. But a strange scene appeared. The old spittle actually into the skin of the skinny man. Soon, they also underwent a mutation. At this time there was just another couple there to show their love. For this kind of intimate behavior, of course, they cannot tolerate directly jumping on. Min Seo, who had just left also began to feel discomfort. Mouth drooling all over the floor. Passengers on the bus were throwing disgusted glances. Min Seo suddenly thought of the veins on Suk Woo's face and his abnormal violence just now and wondered if he had some contagious disease. However, when she called him, there was no answer. At this time, the barbecue restaurant was still doing brisk business, and more and more people were eating beef with the virus. The number of people who began to mutate on the streets also gradually increased. Some start to mutate, some vomit, and then they lose their minds and start biting others. As the situation worsened, the news reported the incident, but they couldn't find the source of the outbreak. It was thought to be a simple flu virus. So on the advice of experts, epidemiologists began to euthanize poultry to stop the spread of the virus. But after some operations, the spread of the virus was not slowed down. A reporter tried to interview the mutated Ma Dong Suk, but he was bitten to death right in front of the camera. Suk Wu returns home, and he smashes all the furniture. Suddenly, the doorbell rings, and it turns out that his family has returned from a trip. The entire apartment building was empty, but they didn't know what was going on. When they opened the door, they found the house in darkness and Suk Wu standing there without saying a word. Looking at the mess in the house, the father starts to count Suk Wu. When Suk Wu approached, they realized something was wrong, and it was too late to escape. The parents were bitten on the spot, and only the sister managed to escape. Outside, the virus began to break out on a large scale. The whole city has turned into a human purgatory. Bloodthirsty zombies are everywhere, and even the countryside is no longer safe. Some people scramble for supplies in the shopping malls to survive, while others seek rescue on the rooftops. However, all this is simply in vain, because even the army sent by the government to exterminate the zombies has become a zombie buffet. In just a few days, the virus had swept through Korea. Among the zombies, Suk Woo met Min Seo again. Even though they have mutated, they still remember each other. They walked into the subway station. Min Seo picked up the moldy apple on the ground and handed it to Suk Woo. Suk Woo did not hesitate to put it in his mouth and ate it. People will never know that the culprit is just a rotten apple.